composting is an aerobic process, meaning you have oxygen in there. Where if you go to a landfill, it gets covered up and sealed in and, and it goes through a fermentation process, meaning no oxygen, so it goes anaerobic. And so when you have aerobic with oxygen or without, those are very different bio biochemical pathways. And the end result of composting is carbon dioxide. The end result of um, anaerobic or fermentation in a landfill would be methane. But both greenhouse gases. So Yes. So tell me why we want to compost and not trash it. When it's anaerobic, it decomposes very, very slowly. So you put it in a landfill, it's probably not going to decompose much. If you're composting it, um, it's going to decompose. And the thing is, is methane is much more powerful in terms of its impact. Do different foods emit different amounts of these gases? Like say, if you're, if you're prioritizing what you compost, is there something that's really potent that we should really prioritize getting in the compost bin? The ones that contribute the most to like greenhouse gases, like the nitrous oxides, and so forth are actually high protein foods like red meats and dairy products and some seafood. Can you break it down and let me know what you can compost and what you can't compost? You know, most people know fruits and vegetables, right? Or they think backyard leaves and so I always forth. think eggshells. That's like eggshells, <laughs> coffee grounds. Probably some of the ones that people might not think of is you can actually compost um, deceased animals or wildlife or your pets. They would break down, but it takes special attention when you're doing that, because as you can imagine, one is people don't always feel that comfortable with it emotionally, but, you know, and you want to bury it pretty deep. So you're not going to attract wildlife. 